Hi, I'm Kim Sauer at uh, Apex 2016. I'm joined by Sean Robinson from Panasonic. Sean, Kim. great to see you here. Good to see you again. Las Vegas, always very exciting, but um, a lot happening on the market, on the American market, on the global market. Let's, um, let's start with the American market. Sure. What, are you, what trends are you seeing? Trends that we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of growth of the tier two, tier three EMS companies. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, uh, what we're also seeing is the uh, embracing of the Industry 4.0. Uh, there's a lot of uh, customers, partners of ours, trying to figure out how to connect all of our different pieces of equipment together to make it easier for our customers to be able to uh, achieve more throughput, achieve more efficiencies and productivity, but do it with less people. Mm -hmm. and to be able to do this in a smarter way mm -hmm. than uh, what has been done in the past. It's interesting because last year we were talking about the same subjects, but there was still a division between what the Americans termed as Industry 4.0 is more IoT, right. which has turned into IOM, the Internet of Manufacturing. Yeah. But now you guys and, and you know everybody's adopting that Industry 4.0, I think we say here in America exactly. now, without the dot. Yeah. Um, is that something you're also seeing in other geographies of the world? Interestingly enough, uh, Panasonic has taken on a strategy where we're partnering with uh, you know, the best in breed, other partners, in, uh, to be able to have all of our equipment communicate together. And actually we're showing a pretty interesting demonstration in our booth where we're actually placing the most aggressive microchips in paste but using some of our partners, AOIs and SBIs to actually dial the placements onto PAT. Mm -hmm. And uh, the capability there, especially when you get into these more aggressive applications, is the difficulty. No matter how many uh, process engineers you might have to be able to accomplish that goal uh, without having some type of integration that happens automatically with the equipment is almost impossible to achieve. And so uh, we're not just talking about it, we're delivering it. And uh, the rest of our sister sales companies have the same freedom to be able to integrate whatever partners they need to be able to deliver this type of capability globally. Mm -hmm. So it's not just an American thing, it's uh, all of the different Panasonic companies globally are all taking the same strategy that we're demonstrating here at the show today. Mm -hmm. And you're using words like partnerships and you, you're really emphasizing that, that. But that's what it's about, Industry 4.0, the connectivity, the, 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 well, the data interchange, the, the amount of data that's being generated, it needs to be analyzed. Do you, are you seeing a, a change in your strategy or in your product development? Because now you have to include these partners and you have to be talking to them. So what's your roadmap going forward to deal with all that? Oh, we're, we are already demonstrating the ability to integrate in the surface mount arena, but also our intention is to be able to go all the way from receiving to shipping. And we're fortunate that we have a, a group in our Panasim group that actually works with our uh, development team from the hardware perspective in Japan, but we're also working hand in hand with people uh, from the different AOI companies, conveyance companies, uh, oven companies, and so on. And the intention is to take that all the way back into the warehouse, all the way through inspection, all the way through uh, sub-assembly and back-end assembly. So uh, our intent is to offer a turnkey solution where we are maybe overseeing the project, but we're the ones pulling all of the different players together, and we're using our software to be able to integrate all those pieces together. Because you know, the truth is, bolting different pieces of equipment together doesn't really add the value. It's when you can offer a solution where the customer no longer has to worry about, how do I tie this all together? We can be that glue. We can be the, per the team that actually pulls everybody together and uh, delivers a superior solution. Mm -hmm. Yep, so still a lot of work to be done on that level and uh, there's a lot of, uh, well, security issues that people are addressing. What, what do you see as the key uh, opportunities and maybe also the key stumbling blocks along the way? Absolutely. I, I, a lot of folks believe, and, and rightfully so, that that information that could be perhaps put to the cloud and uh, so it's accessible and visible to all their different plants um, is at risk. 
And uh, so we work hand in hand with those companies, but we also work with partners like Microsoft to leverage Microsoft Azure and other types of technology companies to ensure that we do protect our customers' data. Mm -hmm. And uh, so everything we're doing these days, and you'll see it in that booth, is all about, we literally brought a factory to this show. Everything from programming all the way through back end, including integration, is uh, key. And one other point I want to make uh, is we're also leveraging technology, and we have 470 subsidiaries within uh, Panasonic. You'll notice in our booth we're actually using our AV division's camera to uh, identify uh, traffic patterns mm -hmm. in our booth and how we could better help customers. As an example, how would you lay out your factory differently? How are people responding to the machines when there's interrupts? All the different things that would allow them to be able to understand what's going on on the factory floor and be able to make better decisions about how to produce. So it's really exciting that we're not only just taking advantage of other folks we know in our industry, but we're taking advantage of technology that you wouldn't normally think would apply uh, in a factory floor. Mm. So it's really quite exciting for us. Mm. Interesting, because really with the industry 4.0 concept, you have to think outside the box, because literally everything is happening outside the box. Exactly, Yeah. exactly. Great talking to you. Thank you very much for your time, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again. Absolutely. Thank you. Good to see you, Ken. Thank you.